Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing good. Let's see what is distinct index list in Pega. It is one of the interview question. Before going to video, I want to share that I am available in TopMet now. So if you want some Pega career guidance or if you want some Pega mock interviews or if you want some information on interview questions, whatever it is, you can reach me personally in this TopMet. You can book a video meeting with me so that uh, I can have one-to-one -one chat with you guys. Let's get started into the topic. So normally reporting uh, we would be using to get some data. So to improve the retrieval performance you can add optimization to the fields and all. So there is some gadget called a select value gadgets on report definitions where we will use in the report data. This uh, actually helps us to uh, like suppose if I take a property and that property may contain n number of records but uh, you want to know uh, like uh, filter it out with a respective value then uh, we would be uh, required of a unique values of the respective property. If the property is equal to many values then populating the select value uh, gives us a poor performance which results in uh, the report definition is also takes a lot of time to run it. So by automating this property of the filter a number of values can be reduced and uh, our particular retrieval process of the respective report will be improved. So in Pega there is a class called as uh, data admin distinct value index so if you go to this class and uh, if you see you can able to create an instance for this so normally if you click on create it would be asking some description and the class name for example uh, there is a uh, some employee number example so that employee number property you can give on the class denote of this and uh, some name to it so what happens is whenever you have created this property in under pega reporting there is a agent called as popular distinct values this particular activity pz popular distinct values will run every time actually this is a recurring and uh, okay every one day at 12 am so it would be a recurring agent and uh, this activity what happens is whenever you specify a particular uh, property over here a record here in this so it would be creating the select values so whenever you create a report right we are having an option here called as select values so if you go here and uh, there would be some values already populated right so this is one of the useful thing where uh, you can actually select a few values from your report So that our retrieval process will be very fast. Many people might be asking like what is this remove duplicate case, uh, uh, duplicate rows, right? Normally if we have a uh, pattern like suppose uh, column 1 is triple A, triple B, triple C. So if, the, if you want to eradicate this particular set of record then that remove duplicate rows will be helpful. But not like if, uh, these two combinations. So, if you want to know the distinct values of uh, this respective column like triple A, triple C. So in this uh, way, this particular select uh, value widget will be very useful for us. And uh, you can use this and define it. As I don't have much data, I am unable to populate and show this respective report to you. Hope you have understood this. If not, uh, you can go here to this class and uh, you can check and this is the activity and this is the Pega reporting agent. So it would be running every time and if you want to enable it, you can do it or if you want to disable, you can just disable this. And uh, make sure that the property that you are defining for a respective class, that class should not have any security constraints so that uh, this uh, activity uh, actually it, uh, it is a Java method which uh, operates the uh, distinct values of the properties. So it should be accessible for this activity. If you have some class restrictions, 
security restrictions then your property won't be picked by this agent thanks for watching this video hope you like this content as it is free of course please share like comment and subscribe to my channel share your knowledge as well in comments